I'm in the New Perspectives Access 2007 textbook. I'm in Tutorial 12 on page AC627 and I'm going to show you what allowing what setting the allow zero length property to no actually means. So I've got a table open here. This is the employee, TBL employee copy that we created in this tutorial. I'm going to switch to design view and we're going to look and this is just an example. I'm going to look at the employee supervisor field and employee supervisor field is set to allow a zero length. So now we're going to go look at a query and we're going to see how this works. So I'm going to come down and I'm going to grab the query um, copy value because I know um, we also created this query in this tutorial so I'm familiar with it and I want to find those employees who don't have a supervisor. So I'm going to switch over to design view here and I'm going to come into the supervisor ID and I'm going to type in is null. And we're going to run the query. Now we should have two. That makes sense. Let's go back and we'll pull this out and we'll run it again. One, two. Okay? So I'm going to put in the is null here again. We'll run the query. And now Checking the book here on page 627, it says that we can put in a zero length value by typing in two consecutive double quotation marks. So let's see how this works. I'm going to put in two. Okay, and Cynthia here. We're going to go back to design view and we're going to run the query. She's gone because the value in that field is no longer null. Now how do I get her back? Well, we'll go back to design view and we'll take out the is null. We'll run it again. Now to get it back, I just can't simply delete it because there's nothing to delete. So I got to put a value in and then delete that value. Then I should be able to get that record back. Let's give it a try here. Okay. So I'm just going to go and I'm not going to save this query. We're going to go back into the employee copy table, open it in design view. We're going to change this to not allow zero length. Okay? Say yes. Okay. And let's just look at it and make sure that those fields are still empty. Yep. Okay. So let's go find that query we were working on, the QRY employee copy value. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do my design view. And get a little more space here, is null. So this part is going to work. Okay, now I'm going to try to do the same thing I did before. And now in this case, because we set the properties so that we do not allow a zero length string, it will not allow me to go in there and put in the double quotation marks. So that's how it works. That's the end of this segment.